Welcome back to Hannity. The Clinton campaign's long list of headaches just got even longer. In an exclusive interview with the DailyMail.com, Paula Jones, who sued Bill Clinton, claiming that he sexually harassed her while serving as governor of Arkansas, shared her thoughts of the possibility of the Clinton family returning once again to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Take a look. I don't believe that she should even be running alongside the fact that the terrible history that they have. Yes. And who would want Bill Clinton in office a second time doing the same stuff he was doing before, philandering uh, with women. She didn't even stand up for the women that knew what her husband did, and she knew what her husband did to those women. She, there's no way that she did not know that. Here now on our panel, co-host of Outnumbered, Jedediah Bila, Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli, and Fox and Friends first co-host Ainsley Earhart. You know, Hillary Clinton is running, and we were discussing this earlier. She wants the women's vote. She wants to be the champion of women's rights. And here's Bill with his history. Here's the money they take from Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and all these countries with atrocious women's rights records. Um, how do they seem to always get away with this? Well, I think it's two separate issues. I don't. I think this was a very big deal, the infidelity. He was impeached because of it. But I don't think you can put that on Hillary. You can't put that on the wife, his mistakes. However, it's her scandals, like you're mentioning. They're scandals together that you have to focus but wait, on. But all those women were attacked. They were belittled. They were smeared and slandered and besmirched by the Clinton team. Did she ever stand up and say, stop doing that to yeah. these women? I'm just wondering why she's coming out. Like, why is she resurfacing? What she was probably she asked to do this? an. I talked to her today. She, okay. she was asked to do an interview. She did an interview. I asked her to come on this program. I know, yeah. but isn't it time to bury that? Let's focus on the other scandals that involve Hillary. I just don't. I'm not well, sure. Should we forget this fair. side of them? I, there's oh, a whole yeah. generation that don't know this. I don't we, think you should we forget can't, it. But. We can't forget. Because, and, and she stayed married to him, by the way. Listen, the Clintons have more baggage than a cargo plane, and the emails. <laughs> this email scandal is just the tip of the iceberg. And when you look at Bill Clinton, we have no idea what's going to come out in regards to the fantasy island, the sex scandal uh, issue that's going on with him. We don't know. But there's too many stories out Orgy there. Orgy Island, not fantasy Orgy. island. Orgy Island. Right. Well, I'll try to make sure we get our islands right here. All right, we got it. Yeah. Same island. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Juanita Broderick, I interviewed her. She may come out. I interviewed Kathleen Willey. There are a lot of women. That's true, but there's two questions. One is, is there a pattern of deception here? And I think there absolutely is. No matter what issue you look at with Hillary Clinton, whether you're talking about her standing beside her man while he did all sorts of abominable, abominable things, or whether you're talking about her emails, her server, lack of transparency, there's clearly a, a, a pattern here of deception mm -hmm. where she doesn't disclose the truth and doesn't back things that she claims to be backing. So she isn't who she but claims she to represent. But she stood by and all, also, all those women were right, attacked. But I would say right. to you this, Sean, does character matter? Because people didn't hold President Clinton accountable for those point. mistakes. Let me, and his poll numbers maintained well, at high levels. So would this hurt her? I would me, argue no, probably not. All right, let, let me go to another issue I want to get to here. And this is Al Sharpton. Now, let's go through a history of Al Sharpton before we get to what may be one of his worst statements. This is the best of Al Sharpton, if you will. I'm tired of the Mac and You ain't nothing. You're a punk. Now come on, do something. You're the best chicken fries in the universe. <laughs> Well, by the way, that will qualify you to be a host on NBC. Now, also, uh, he apparently sent out a tweet yesterday, keeping it real. He has his own question of the day. Do you think the Texas flooding is related to climate control or God's rebuke? <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. Crazy. It's outrageous. Uh, it, he's just uh, utterly impossible. Listen, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people who are affected, what is happening in Texas. But Al Sharpton, he has been doing this for many, many years. The man has not been held accountable for anything. And what he's doing, I think, is he's just changing the debate from what is going on in Baltimore, all these individuals who are being harmed and killed, and trying to switch it up, trying to change the channel. He's trying to distract people.
Yeah. He does it because he gets away with it. If you, you couldn't say that. You wouldn't be able to still have your job if you said those sorts of things repeatedly. I wouldn't want to say that. But this is a guy that. whose platform seems to elevate the more outrageous and irresponsible things that he continues he has to, to do. To stir so the that's pot. the message he's he getting. He has to stir the pot. Relevance. This is how he makes a living. Right. He yep. has to say something so outrageous. And to, and to say that the wrath of oh, God oh, is on yeah, the wait. state of does Texas. He, does he make a living? Because the last time I read, it was he owes the IRS <laughs> millions. Good Which point. he doesn't have Good to point. pay somehow. Apparently he's not. He has to go to the White House. If I owed them 10 cents, they'd have yes. me handcuffed, right. hook walk, right. and mugshot right. right. yeah. Demand right. a payment. But I don't like it when people say the wrath of God is on a certain state. When, when yeah. there's a natural disaster that happens, things just happen. Because I lived in the state of Texas. They are some of the most evangelical, best individuals. If you look yeah. at the state per capita, they're in church every Sunday. He can't say... What, what's his point? I have yeah. no idea. Are you, you're asking me to get into the I mind of Al Sharpton. I don't know. That's a scary point. I don't know. Good point. Did you hear what she said? I don't know any ministers that make those kind of things. Yeah, that's a good point. Guys, good to see you all. Thank you.